For my case study, I observed and interviewed Heather Fields, who was a kindergarten teacher at Lincoln Elementary School here in Huntington. She informed me of the wide range of assessments that her and her colleagues all use at the kindergarten level. All the kindergarten teachers work together to create math quarterlies and letter assessments since those are the broad but important topics for this age group. Individually, Heather creates her own rubric for each subtopic that the students learned about in the classroom. She explained to me that she uses both informal and formal assessments, but currently she is using more formal to get ready for midterms. Through these formal assessments, Heather receives information about her students' reading level, letter identification skills, and math skills. She also added that she uses a lot of observation throughout the day because her students' nonverbal body language can tell her a lot. For Heather, assessment is not something used to benefit herself, but her students as well. Heather's stance on assessment reflects with the stance of the author of one of our class texts, which is embedded formative assessment. And according to this text, assessment occupies such a central position in good teaching because we cannot predict what students will learn, no matter how we design our teaching. Heather told me that a lot of her assessments are created with an end goal in mind that directly links back to the standards that are expected of her students. She communicates these standards to her students through specific goals that are easy for five to six year olds to understand. This strategy corresponds with the second strategy for making targets clear to students that is explained in our text, Seven Strategies of Assessment for Learning. This strategy claims that a teacher should convert the target into language students understand and then share it. Heather gave an example for a goal for a typical kindergarten student, which was, I will learn all 26 letters of the alphabet. This may seem like a simple goal, but that is what makes it so trackable for Heather. She is also constantly giving her students feedback, and if she realizes that some students did not understand a topic, she always gives them opportunities to go back and revisit and relearn that topic so that they continue to grow. I also asked her about how she communicates with parents about assessment, and she informed me that parents are always given um, a midterm report card and copies of all the assessments. Also, each parent receives a data tracker, tracker each quarter that shows how their child is progressing throughout the year. Heather wants to make sure that parents always feel informed about what is going on with their child. I had a great time observing Heather's classroom and interviewing her about the practices she uses with assessment. From this experience, I learned that there are challenges that teachers are faced with when using assessment, such as making sure they always efficiently communicate results, but overall it is a tool that is necessary for all grade levels.